One of the things that separates Asus from many of their competitors is the fact that they are a designer and manufacturer of computer components. They are not simply a reseller of reference boards. The Asus HD6870 Direct CU is a proprietary design. It is not a reference board. It has its own cooling system. We do see some claims on the box uh, for better cooling up to 20% and better performance up to 15% as well as super alloy power providing longer lasting components. These are clearly evident on the circuit board itself and under the shroud. Asus claims 20% better cooling with the HD6870 Direct CU. The reason for that would be the shroud itself as well as the cooling system. The Direct CU shroud is a very simple design, but a very effective design. You can see the shroud is only a half shroud. It doesn't completely cover everything on the circuit board like a reference design does. The shroud itself is dust repelling. It allows far less dust into the fan than a standard shroud. Of course, dust is the enemy of your computer components, so cleaner is better in this case. Turning it over, got three direct contact heat pipes. Very good size. Not just tiny little direct contact heat pipes, but you've got a very nice cooling block here. Oversized, you can see the imprint of the GPU on there. Uh, Going to provide a lot of cooling. You can see you've got good size fin area as well as an adequately sized fan. This is going to provide better cooling than a reference design and better cooling when overclocking the GPU. One of the things you can always count on from Asus, and no exception in the HD6870 Direct CU, is an absolutely beautiful circuit board. The PCB here, when I say beautiful circuit board, I'm not talking just aesthetically pleasing. I'm talking about you've got a very nice layout. You've got absolutely no splash over on any solder joints. They are all absolutely precise. The way it is laid out makes sense. There's no wasted space. It's just really something that looks like it would be out of a science fiction movie. Just the precision of their circuit boards is absolutely beautiful. Much less chance of a cold solder joint or any type of failure. On the back of the printed circuit board, you find a metal finned plate. Looking at it, you're probably going to think it's for heat dissipation. Well, it's going to dissipate some heat, which is why it's finned. But more importantly, it is reinforcement for the printed circuit board itself. As you can see, this isn't going to bend. When you've got a longer printed circuit board hanging in there with that cooling hanging off, in most of your video cards, you're going to see flex in the board. Asus has provided reinforcement. There is absolutely no flex to the HD6870 Direct CU. Asus uses super alloy components on their circuit board for the 6870. They're clearly visible with the super alloy logo on top. You've got super alloy MOSFETs, which lie under this heat sink. You've got super alloy chokes. You've got super alloy capacitors all throughout. Super alloy being a highly conductive, highly magnetic material, which also dissipates heat more quickly than the standard choke capacitor material used. This is going to add up to cooler temperatures and higher performance. The HD6870 Direct CU. Beautiful printed circuit board. Highest quality components on the circuit board featuring super alloy and an advanced cooling system keeps CPU cooler even in high overclock conditions.